Oftentimes to break yourself out of a rut and bad habit, you have to exaggerate and do something way outside the box that's the complete opposite of what you're used to doing. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate some training for my own game, uh, a habit that I, I've been working on breaking out of for, well really for years, but in earnest for the last 10 or 12 months or so. On my drive uh, backhand, my topspin backhand, I historically have been very, very late and crowded and kind of scrunched up. And so historically, I've kind of pushed everything to the middle of the court or like just sliced down the line. And I've just recently in the last year or so started taking some time for myself to develop my own strokes, change my own bad habits. And so I've been working on hitting more of an actual cross court rally ball. Now, to be able to do that, I have to do something way different than what I've been used to doing for the last 20, 25 years. For the last 25 years, I've been hitting everything late to the middle. So what I'm gonna do now is pick something exaggerated. So a late backhand, if I'm aiming cross courts, would kinda just go like towards the middle of the courts. If I let the ball come back too far, then I end up just kinda pushing it to the middle. Like that, look, that type of looking shot has been my cross court backhand for 20 years. So now what I'm gonna do off this kind of easy neutral ball is I'm gonna to aim to hit the wall on a fly just to make sure we're all on the same page here. So when the ball machine feeds to me here, I'm gonna be attempting to hit that wall before the ball hits the court surface. And so that is the opposite of where my backhand historically has gone, which has been like towards the middle of the court. So, Start off by warming up whatever shot you're working on. I've already hit some backhands, uh, so I'm, I'm kind of like loose and ready to go. The key here is not trying to accomplish this goal by like rushing through it and frantically like yanking my racket forwards to try to get uh, an early contact position. Instead, my goal here is going to be to unwind way earlier feeling than what I normally do. And so let's give this a shot. Aiming for the, the side curtain. Barely got it. I need to be a little bit earlier. Nope, that's too late. There we go. So that's early enough that I'm hitting my, my target zone. And I'm trying to do this relaxed. There, now I'm, I'm kind of dialed in. I'm feeling the, the timing. And so I'm starting to be able to do it a little bit more calmly. I barely got it. I need to be a little bit earlier. There we go. And so I'm just gonna hang out here for a couple, a couple more shots to make sure I'm really dialed in. And the key here is just changing the timing for this particular adjustment. I'll do one more. Nice, good. I'm happy with that. So, while you're doing this, obviously everybody else at the club is gonna be looking at you like you're a crazy person. And you can do this for any mistake. If all your serves have been going in the net, then hit the back fence on a fly for 20 or 30 shots. If uh, all your backhands have been going long, then swing smoothly and confidently and hit the bottom of the net for 20 or 30 shots. Go to the other end of the spectrum. If you're enjoying this lesson, then go pick up a copy of my new book called Essential Tennis, because this video is taken right from it. There's 38 chapters full of insights that can help you improve your game, as well as many other videos just like this one that can show you exactly what to do to take your game to the next level. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna dial it back a little bit, and I'm gonna aim for the green in between the doubles alley and the wall. So that's my target now. So again, so this is gonna be a little bit less exaggerated, but still, still quite exaggerated. So calm and relaxed is my goal. All right, it's a little bit late. I need to swing a little bit earlier. Barely got the green there, that was a good one. Nope, nope, that's too late. So in real life, that'd be a fantastic cross court backhand. There we go. But that's not what I'm trying to do right now. Right now, I'm attempting to exaggerate and make a mistake on purpose to break myself out of an old habit, a rut that I've been in for decades. And this is what it takes 
oftentimes to be able to get yourself out of a rut like that. All right, good. Uh, that last like four or five or so, we're solid. Now, I'm gonna aim for an actual shot like that I would really hit in real life. So I'm aiming for the singles court now, cross courts. This is like what I've been actually working my way towards. And now, that uh, cross court, that kind of ideal cross court uh, spot feels very easy and like it's not very exaggerated or um, crazy at all. That's drifting towards the middle a bit. I need to be careful. Now it's pretty easy for me to make the adjustment and find the right spot. All right, nice. So I was a little bit too far in front. And I like making that mistake because it's, it's moving away from what I've been doing, you know, historically. The error that I typically struggle making over and over and over again. So this is just one application. I thought I would do this kind of selfishly because it's just something like, I've done this drill several times for myself and my own just private training. But I just thought I'd show you a real life example of uh, an actual application, but use this principle for all your shots. Anytime you're stuck in a very deep rut, or if there's like a specific technique where you're, you're just not getting it, your contact point is just too far back. Okay, well, let's go too far in front for 100 repetitions, actually too far. What would it take to do the extreme in the other direction? And once you kind of get comfortable with the other extreme, then finding the real kind of perfect middle spot becomes way, way easier. So use this principle if you're a coach, if you're a tennis player, lead yourself or your student in the right direction. It's worked wonders for me over the years for myself and with my own students. I hope it works very well for you as well. If you enjoyed watching this lesson, then please consider going to order my book called Essential Tennis. You can get it on Amazon or Barnes & Noble or anywhere else books are sold. And you can get it in paperback, hardcover, audiobook, or Kindle as well. And it's full of 38 chapters full of tennis insights for doubles players, singles players, that really get down to the core essentials of how to play better tennis. It's received some incredible feedback from world-class players and coaches, which I'm super grateful for. So if you enjoy my lessons, and this one in particular, which is taken right from the book, then definitely go check it out and order yours today. Thank you so much for your support.